Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's Ad McHenry here, uh, sitting in my apartment room tonight of Friday, October 2nd, uh, 2015. Uh, uh, I just want to uh, make a quick video tonight, and you know, so much is on my mind, and uh, I just want to smile and be happy, but there's so much pain and sorrow in the world. You know, America, we've been hit again by another a sad shooting, a, a, a community college shooting up in Oregon yesterday, and just a tragedy, that uh, a senseless tragedy that's happening all too frequently in our country. And sadly, so many people are are, are really in bad shape. And uh, I mean, our country and our world are, are really in dire need of God's mercy and His and His forgiveness, but His justice is. We need to be awakened from our slumber. Uh, the The battle of Armageddon, people, is raging. The battle for souls, the battle of the spirits between God and Lucifer is, is at an all-time high every day, and I see it. And, uh, you know, it's just a tragedy uh, to, to hear once again about the school shooting in Oregon yesterday. I pray for the repose of the soul of the victims in this tragedy. They stood up, and as I will say, uh, say the exact same thing, they said, I am a Christian. Whether I have to be shot and murdered because I'm a Christian, well, you know, martyrdom is immediate interest in the heavens. So uh, God bless those those souls that, that recognize their faith and stood for their faith, for they're with God, I pray. And uh, it's just a tragedy that this continues to go on. As someone who's battled with a mental illness like I have, I, I can only, I have no idea what would cause somebody to be that deranged and, and evil to, to want to kill another human being. God created us in his image to love God and to love one another and to, and to be brothers and sisters to all our all our, uh, all our fellow people. Uh, uh, people in the world to love them from our hearts not to hate them and kill them and murder them sadly the devil and many of his henchmen are controlling so many people in this world and souls are falling into hell like snowflakes and raindrops as, as so many of the saints have pointed out and we just need to be ready you know one thing i do say with all this gun violence and all the things that are going on in the media with with uh, trying to prohibit our, our country from from having guns and, and what have you I completely uphold and, and support the Second Amendment of every ma ma every lawful abiding American to uh, to uh, to have access to to their own guns and their own firearms. You know, it's not the guns. The, yes, the guns are the the end cause of what kills another human being, but it's the deranged minds of these lunatics, these people, these crazy savages that go out and and, and, and assassinate people all for all for their own. Sorrow, you know, sadly enough, they're doing it for their own attention. They want attention. They want fame. Their 15 seconds of fame uh, to be splashed all across the media and all across the globe. That oh, I I killed all these people. Well, you know what? Your soul is lost. Your soul is probably going to spend eternity separated from God. That's the only thing that matters. You know, as Saint Vincent de Paul once said, uh, our our goal is to attain heaven. Everything else is meaningless. Very much true. Our goal is to maintain is is to attain heaven and salvation with God. Let us strive for the kingdom of heaven, people. I pray for America. We're grieving as a nation after this latest uh, tragedy from yesterday, the shooting. And, and all that's going on in our country, we must eradicate abortion. That is, the killing of the unborn must cease to exist, not only in America, but around the world. We've killed 63, 64, 65 million souls since Roe v. Wade. It must stop. God, God, God can't hate, you know, God... God will not accept this anymore. He's going to he's going to intervene with his justice and his his wrath and his anger. Is that what people want? God loves people. He loves his children, but we must repent. We must turn away from the world of flesh and the devil. We must turn away from killing the unborn in a mother's womb. We must give life from conception to natural death. You know, the wars are raging now with Russia attacking uh, Syria and and, and the uh, and all the problems there that are going on. We must pray for our friend and ally Israel. She's being attacked on all sides. Uh, Iran is will soon have the bomb, I would imagine. And sadly, I know she'll Iran Iran and their ayatollahs and their their leaders would use it immediately to try to eradicate and, and annihilate uh, Israel from the map. Um, you know, one thing I, I will say is, after being on medication for a number of years, all these years. Uh, with my depression and all these last 16 and a half years that I've struggled and been on medication. I know I don't think, I, I, I struggle with making these videos. All my videos I've made, you'll probably recognize there'll be mistakes or errors or words that I, I didn't say correctly. And I, I got to be honest, I, I don't think 
as well on my feet as I once did before I got on all this medication 16 and a half years ago. So I, I stumble and I don't think really quickly on my feet. So please forgive me, people that hear this. I apologize. I'm trying to do the best that I can. I care about my fellow Americans. I care about our country. I care about this world. I want there to be people that love God. I just got home. It's Friday night. It's uh, here in Houston, Texas, 1030. I'm sitting in my bedroom making this video. And I uh, just got got back from a, a nice uh, evening meal uh, with my parents in Carlton at my parents' house. Uh, had a nice uh, nice dinner uh, with my family. And then afterwards, I, I spent the last hour uh, in adoration in the Blessed, Sacra uh, the Blessed Sacrament of Jesus our Lord uh, up at St. Cecilia's in that oration chapel and there's nothing more I love than spending time with our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. It just brings the biggest smile and happiness in my soul. You know, I pray that uh, that, that God will, will help me to, to, to express God's love to others. Um, you know, I'm scared to death. I mean, I, I don't know if, if I'm cut off, if I'm cast into the fires, if I'm the false prophet or the antichrist or son of perdition or all the terrible titles that are given in the scripture. I hope and pray I'm either, you know, God's messenger of the of the uh, the sixth seal in the revelations, or hopefully maybe the seventh angel. I, I don't know who Adam McHenry is. I've struggled for 16 and a half years carrying my cross mentally and struggling uh, with it uh, unbelievably. But I, I have faith and, and trust, and as St. Paul reminds us, we must have faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is charity and love. But we must have all three of those, and I try to maintain my faith. I try to maintain my hope and my perseverance in my struggles, and and my love of God, and that's what we must do. May, uh, may God have mercy upon you who hears this. I pray for America to become great again. We need strong leaders. I will continue to endorse completely Senator Ted Cruz, hopefully as our next president uh, of the United States. I love Ben Carson. I love Carly Fiorina. I, I know I've criticized Donald Trump, and I would accept Donald Trump um, uh, maybe more as a VP candidate. Um, I don't mean to hate anybody or mislead anybody or hurt anybody or be a fence jumper on politics or politicians. I'm not the greatest when it comes to politics, but I want somebody that's conservative. And I know Ted Cruz is the true, authentic, uh, constitutional conservative. Uh, and we need somebody that would lead. We need another Reagan in there, another Ronald Reagan. And, and I think Ted Cruz is the right guy for these times. I hope and pray he's nominated uh, to the uh, uh, as the next president of the United States, hopefully next year. I hope and pray that he's our next president. I pray for America. I pray for our people, this country. You know, I want people to get on their knees and worship and adore the Lord. Um, God's great justice, his great uh, wrath and anger are, are going to be coming. His justice and mercy go hand in hand, but it's time for his justice to appear on the scene very soon. And are we ready? We must be ready to stand for our judgment. For God is merciful, but he's just. And every sin must be accounted for, um, whether in this life or in the next life in purgatory. Let us pray for our brothers and sisters, saint, our souls who are in purgatory, that we might get their souls to heaven faster. You know, I, I've been uh, one of the great books that I highly encourage people to read is the uh, the Secrets, Chastisements, and Triumph and the Triumph uh, by my my friend and in uh, in in, in uh, gentleman who I really like and follow on on social media, uh, Kelly Bowring. Uh, read his information. He's a theologian. He's a, uh, a great. Uh, he's a great doctor uh, and theologian, Dr. Kelly Bow Bowring. Please read his uh, books and promote his information. His uh, and we must promote the the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the two hearts. Let's promote the two hearts, the Sacred Heart and the Immaculate Heart. Our Blessed Mother is going to crush the head of the serpent Satan very soon. You know, as I've mentioned before, I might be uh, one that picked off and be assassinated. Uh, one of these uh, shootings, these like uh, workplace shootings or school shootings or what have you. I might be one of the people that might be assassinated and starts, I might be the one that starts the uh, the great domino effect of these end times. Um, I ask if, if, if I'm the person that begins everything by what I've said and written through all my writings and my, in my, uh, my speeches or my, uh, uh, may God have mercy upon all of us. You know, I, I try and, and I fail, and I, I know that uh, you know being on medication has been hard all these years, and you know it slowed my mind down. My thinking has been a lot slower than it, ha it was 17, 20 years ago. But you know, I accept my cross. This is my cross, and I accept it. I hope and pray I can be in heaven with with each one of you that hears this. I want everybody to go to heaven. But the gospels are clear that many are called and few are chosen. That we must enter through the narrow gate, the narrow door. For broad is the gate and the door that leads to death and destruction and narrow is the gate that leads to life and only if you find it. But hopefully through Bayside 
the Bayside mission through the great warning that God's bringing us. Garibandal, La Salette, Fatima, Lourdes, Medjugorje, uh, Akita, Japan, uh, the others uh, that have been approved or will be approved. Uh, we want to listen to our Lord and Our Lady and come to the kingdom of heaven uh, and, and be invited to the wedding banquet. I want to be there. I want each of you to be there. May God have mercy upon me. May God have mercy upon each one of you that hears us. I pray for America. Uh, you know, I pray for our friend Israel who's being uh, attacked on all sides by the enemy. I pray that we might eradicate ISIS, eradicate ISIL, ISIS, eradicate uh, Hezbollah, Hamas, uh, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, and all these Islam terrorist networks. You know, the Muslims are trying to take over the world. They're trying to take over America and, and bring jihad, you know, and, and I'm, I'm, I hate to say this, but we must eradicate Islam. Uh, we must, uh, I don't hate to say that, I'm sorry, I, I really encourage to say that. We must get rid of Islam. We must get rid of the uh, the nation of Islam and, and, and the Islam faith. We must convert Islam to Christianity. You know, we're coming up on Our Lady of the Rosary on the 7th of October here, this next Wednesday. The Battle of Lepanto, when our Blessed Mother was victorious because people prayed their rosaries. I encourage everybody to pray their daily rosary. You can get rosary groups, pray together. The Holy Rosary is the greatest weapon in the world. It's more powerful than a nuclear bomb. It's more powerful than anything in the world, the Holy Rosary combined with prayer and fasting. Let us pray and fast and pray our daily rosaries. It's the most powerful weapon in the whole world. Uh, it's more powerful than all the arsenals of of, uh, of nuclear missiles or, or ballistic missiles in the world. We have more power when we're holding the beads in our hand and praying them. Let us do that for our Blessed Mother, for Jesus, her Son, our Lord and Savior. May God have mercy upon you in America. May God have mercy upon our world. Let us elect God-fearing, God-loving people to judge and govern our land. I pray for God-fearing, God-loving men that will wear the black robes, the, the Supreme Court justices, men and women that govern our land. May we raise up Fear, God-fearing and God-loving souls, people that will judge and, and carry out the commandments of God. Let us bring the commandments back into the schools, into the courthouses, the Ten Commandments. Let us abide by the Ten Commandments. Let us promote Christianity. Let us promote reading the Bible, studying the Bible with one another. Let us live for God, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. People, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The second coming of Jesus Christ is very imminent. It's very soon. We must be prepared. Um, it's, 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 these are serious times, people. These are the end times. Christ's great warning and chastisement are coming. All that is fulfilled in Revelations. The, the book given to St. John uh, is, is being fulfilled in our generation right now. Uh, the Revelations, the Apocalypse. Let us be prepared, people. Let us get on our knees and worship and adore the Lord. Let us spend time in front of the Blessed Tabernacle or the Blessed Sacrament at your church praising the Lord. Uh, we might have to go into refuge camps soon. Let us be ready to go into the refuge camps. The uh, the great uh, the great uh, uh, let us be ready for the refuge camps. You know what scares me is that uh, President Obama might might declare martial law here in America, and that would really throw things out of whack. Whatever you do, do not accept the chip, the little chip in your hand or on your forehead. I don't care. It's I can't remember what it's called, like the RCVD or ID chip. Do not accept that, people. That is the chip that of the number of 666. That is de the devil's chip. Do never accept anything in your body. and do, never, do not accept a chip or anything into your forehead or in your hand or your arm or anything. Do not accept it, or you will be, sadly, probably a lost soul. Uh, I pray to God for his mercy upon us all and upon mankind. May God have mercy upon you and me and all of us. May we get prepared for these end times that we're living in as everything escalates at a lot quicker, rapid rate now with the, the financial collapse could be coming soon. The markets could be collapsing. There could be martial law here in this country. There's going to be lootings and riotings in our streets, blood throughout the streets of America. Sadly, all this is coming because so many people are being blinded by living for the world of flesh and the devil and following Satan. We need to convert their souls to Christianity and to Catholicism and to the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. The remnant church might have to go, the Catholic church might have to go underground. It might only be celebrated at the, the Eucharist and Mass in homes. We must be prepared uh, to go to the, 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 uh, the, the, state, the places of, of, of recovery, of the, the, uh, the places of safety. We must be ready to go to these places and be prepared. Again, I apologize for all the mistakes I've made on not, not only tonight, but throughout my recordings over the last year, couple of years that I've made these recordings. Again, I'm sorry. I'm slow. Uh, I don't think well on my feet. 
Um, but I care about you. Here's this. I love you, and I lo and I love Jesus and Mary, and I want them and, and all of us to be reunited in heaven one day. I love my family, mom, dad, Carlton, Laura, Michael, Kate, Nelson. I love each of you, and I want each of you and all of us to, to be together in heaven one day. Please pray for me if I have to go over the veil soon. If my life is taken, if somebody takes my life, uh, please know, uh, pray for my soul if I have to go to purgatory. And we pray for our brothers and sisters who are in purgatory. Many of our loved ones are there needing our prayers to get to heaven. Um, the synod of, of the, the bishops, uh, the synod in Rome is getting ready to take place starting this Sunday. Uh, let us pray for our bishops and our prelates, our prelates and uh, the cardinals and bishops that will be over in Rome. Let us pray that the Holy Spirit will fill them with with his power and his, his wisdom and knowledge to make to, to make them decipher and make the right decisions regarding the, the doctrine and teachings and the dogmas of the church and do everything according to the will of God, according to scripture and the catechism and the holy magisterium and the, and the, uh, the, the holy Bible. Let us fulfill the words of Jesus, loving God and loving our neighbors and keeping the gospel, being obedient to the gospel message. Let us live for, for Jesus and for his mother Mary. Uh, what is there if we have the whole world but, pro but forfeit the loss of our soul? It makes no sense, people. We're only on this earth for a short period of time, and then we spend time in eternity. Let us be ready to go over the veil at any time. May God have mercy upon me and you and all of us, and may we do the will of God. God is love. He's merciful, most merciful, but His great justice, His great uh, wrath is coming to this America and the world, and America is going to feel the brunt of His wrath because of how sinful, with abortions, Homosexuality. We must eradicate these evil, these evil ideologies that are overtaking our country and our world. Satan and his henchmen must be squashed and killed and crushed by the by the foot of the Blessed Mother Mary and her Son Jesus. And may we pray to our guardian angels. Today is the feast of the guardian, our guardian angels. We all people have a guardian angel that God gives us at birth. Call upon your guardian angels. Pray to your guardian angels constantly. Ask them for their ask them for your their help to help you. Uh, I love you. God love you. Thank you, God, for this time. All my brothers and sisters in the world, I love you. May God have mercy upon you. May God have mercy upon America. May God protect Israel and all nations of the world. May Russia be consecrated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary very soon that she might spreading, stop spreading her errors and her evil ways. Um, let us pray for one another, people. God love you. I love you. Thank you, Jesus, Mary, for, your, for this day and for this life. And let us pray to our guardian angels. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day or night, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. God bless each of you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Amen.